Introduction Cooking oils occupy up an integral part of food making. These oils have been in use ever since cooking began, and some, like the olive oil, ghee and flaxseed oil, are some of the oldest existing forms of healthy oils still under use. Cooking oils are an essential ingredient of modern cooking, since no food can be made without them. Not just for cooking, but oils are used for other purposes as well, as far as health is concerned. Take almond oil, for example, a well-known skin toner with 8% saturated content and 17% omega-6 fats. That makes almond oil to be one of the healthiest and the best fit for local use, although this oil has hardly been used for cooking purposes because of high content of monounsaturated fats, 66% thus making it an unsuitable choice for heat cooking. Almond oil is, however, used as a dressing ingredient for several dishes and recipes. Since oils occupy such an important place in our consumption items, it becomes very necessary to have an understanding about them and which oils are best used for health purposes. Health itself is a broad concept and comprises of several aspects such as mental and physiological health, dietary practices, physical fitness, so on and so forth. Since the food directly influences every facet of the body and mind, one needs to know which element is best fit. Normally, there are certain foods items that are universal in nature. Oils are one of them. Before the advent of industrialized food, traditional items used to be cooked in pure filtered oils for traditional recipes. In the developed world, this has gone the opposite direction with every household now relying on packaged and processed food items that are not only devoid of essential elements and compounds, but are a live example of consumed poison. Governments and private organizations have, however, discovered this long ago and have been actively taking steps to bring back old styles of cooking and recipes. The situation in the developing world is similar, but not exactly the same. In these regions, malnourishment and poverty obstruct people's balanced diets, thus resulting in consumption of cheaper food items that have little to no nutrient content. In urban areas of these regions, packaged and industrialized food has caught up with people's lives and the daily hectic schedule. However, the negative prospects process offers is known around the world and is more than obvious. As more and more people become aware of health issues and the impact they make over their own selves by consumption of a thousand variety of items available from the market, private organizations and industries take active steps to meet such demands. Since nearly every recipe is made by some presence of a cooking oil, it is very essential to have a grip of the varieties and brands that are available for maintaining optimal physiological health. Chapter 1 what and which are healthy oils? Oils come in a variety of bottles, brands and packages. They also range from simple oils used for dressing salads or as body lotions to cooking oils and food spreads. On an average, there are around 34 varieties of oils that are used for cooking. How many of them are healthy? The number is precisely less than 10. Oils have had a long history with us. Certain oils like lard and flaxseed have been used for a thousand years. The former has been in use for cooking meat, while flaxseed has been suitable for vegetarian diets. While lard is considered to be one of the most harmful and unhealthy of all cooking oils, flaxseed on the other hand is recommended not just on vegetarian dishes, but for cooking meat as well. Why this happens depends on the fat content and its quality in the oil. While lard is 41% saturated, it is also 47% unsaturated. Its saturated content might convince some that lard should be under the healthy fats category, although that is impossible. Its high monounsaturated content becomes one of the focal points for breeding heart-related disorders, fatigue, diabetes and ageing, to name a few. In addition, it's one of the prime factors behind increase in bad cholesterol levels. What makes an oil healthy? In general terms, there are six indicators that could reveal whether an oil is healthy or not. These criteria are First, saturated fat content Monounsaturated fats Third, 
polyunsaturated fats. Fourth, omega-3 content. Fifth, omega-6 content. Sixth, smoking point. Saturated, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated oils are all types of fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids are, chemically speaking, only bound with one single bond that connects two carbon atoms. Fats are made up of carbon compounds and hence there is a differentiation between the type of bonding that takes place beneath its compounds. Saturated fats have only one single bond and that's why their carbon compounds seem saturated or bonded strongly together with a single hydrogen atom. On the contrary, polyunsaturated fats have a much looser bonded structure with two or more bonds between carbon compounds and contain less than the maximum amount of hydrogen and hence their reference to unsaturated. As the name suggests, saturated compounds are stronger in their atomic structure and hence appear to be as solids at room temperature. Examples include ghee, margarine and butter. These are some of the most commonly used fats in cooked foods, although their health rankings differ vastly. Their smoking point also differs, although most saturated oils have high smoking points, discussed later on. Lastly, oils are also made up of monounsaturated fats that are similar to polyunsaturated fats in that the former contain only one double bond in the whole of the carbon chain of the fat while the rest of the chain is comprised of single bonds. Examples of monounsaturated fats include olive oils and fish oils that have a unique omega-3 content in them. Of all the three types of fatty oils, saturated fats have the highest melting point and hence most of them appear creamy or solid at normal conditions. Polyunsaturated fats have the lowest melting points and hence extremely low smoking temperatures. Monounsaturated fats come somewhat between the two but mostly remain liquid at room temperatures. Smoking points refers to the temperature at which the oil starts burning or when it starts oxidizing. Several chemical reactions take place during the heating process of an oil that will be referred later on. Saturated fats have the highest smoking points, making them the healthiest, while polyunsaturated fats turn into literal poison after too much heating. Monounsaturated fats have a medium smoking point and hence need to be handled carefully, although most of such oils are used as dressing and spreading oils such as olive oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, etc. So, which oils from the long list of available varieties qualify to be the best for overall health? In general, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats have been considered to be the healthiest for general daily purpose cooking and health. Its reasons are quite obvious. These fats contain compounds and nutrients that are naturally healthy for the heart. On the other hand, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats decrease bad cholesterol levels and increase good cholesterol levels. The heating process gives way to a number of chemical reactions on the pan's surface that will be described in detail in the following sections. However, not all saturated and trans fats come under the unhealthy category as a lot of media and the nutritionist community try to amplify. On the contrary, saturated fats from animals and animal produce, such as the ghee and flax seed oils, occupy primary spots in the list of most desirable fats. On the other hand, saturated fats like margarine are one that need to be avoided in most cases. Chapter 2 What makes oils desirable? On an average, there are over 30 available oils that are used in heating and cooking purposes. Some of them are used commonly throughout the world, while some are found in regional terms. Their desirable or undesirable qualities remain common on the long stretch. As was described above, fatty oils are long chains of carbon compounds bonded, bonded through either single bonds or double bonds. The number of such bonds successfully categorize the family the oil is present in and thus decide the purpose it can be used in. For most of its part, oils can turn undesirable on exposure to several factors such as extreme heat, sunlight or if left open for a long period of time. 
polyunsaturated fats are known to turn rancid if left on the heat pan or if heated to high temperatures, thus forming several free radicals that are not only poisonous to human health but can prove fatal in certain cases. However, it is again to be noted here that there is no hard and fast rule for any category to be fully healthy or undesirable, since every oil has its own individual pluses and negatives. In general, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats contain the most desirable oils, although certain nutritionists also warn against this notion providing the argument that several manufacturing and oil companies mix vegetable and seed oils in such ratios and through such origins that proves unhealthy for human consumption. This needs more evidence, though since most established companies go by established rules and regulations that require a company to use the best mechanisms and practices to produce products. This, however, does not mean that certain local manufactories and industries do not use additives and local malpractices to boost production and profit at the cost of human health. Why certain oils can be desirable is a question for the chemists that can be briefly explained here for the common reader. Saturated fats contain chains of carbon compounds all bond together through a single bond that makes the whole structure of the oil solid at room temperature. These oils include examples like margarine, butter, ghee and partially hydrogenated oils. Most saturated oils produced from plants and seeds have been scientifically proven to be unhealthy for human consumption since they contain compounds that can be harmful for the heart. Oils such as safflower, sunflower, canola have been seen to be undesirable. However, the medical community is extremely divided on these assertions. Several qualified practitioners, doctors and nutritionists point out to the extreme volatility of polyunsaturated and monounsaturated oils when exposed to heat and sunlight. Since these two oils are categorized as having weak double bonds, their reaction towards high heat is quick and instantaneous, making some of these oils, like avocados and nut oils, to be an avoidable choice for cooking. Peanut oil is similar to nut oils and should be avoided in most cases for cooking purposes. The thing to be noted here is that every oil has its own price tag and purpose. While olive oil is to be best used for dressing purposes and sprinkling some of it on salads and dishes in raw forms, it is knowingly unused on pans and high heats. In fact, most polyunsaturated and monounsaturated oils like olive oil, avocados and fish oils are used in raw forms for purposes like dressing and sprinkling. Fish oils like cod, liver oil are exceptionally undesirable if used for cooking purposes while doing wonders when consumed in raw forms. Fish oils are the only few sources of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids that are multipurpose compounds required for oxidation and even cleaning up of arteries by removing bad cholesterol levels. Moving to the other side, saturated fats are further categorized under animal-produced fats and vegetable oils. In general, saturated fats produced from animal produce, like ghee and butter, are some of the healthiest solid oils available on the planet. The ghee is an ancient saturated fat that has been in use since ancient times, mostly originated from modern India and northwest, but is also used commonly in certain Middle Eastern and Central Asian cultures as well. The ghee is clarified butter, rich in vitamins A, D and K2. It is also comprised of conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, that has been seen as a prospective drug against cancer and heart disease through studies conducted recently on this ancient oil's benefits. Ghee is also a beneficial product for the lactose-allergic individual since it contains everything a milk product has to offer, minus casein and lactose that cause most allergies. Ghee is also one of the very few fats derived from animal fats that can be considered as healthy, since other forms of fats, such as lard and bacon drippings, contain everything that the heart hates. 
Lard is one of the major sources of bad cholesterol, with its contemporaries like bacon, drippings and tallow, scoring not bad on the unhealthiest scores. The best advice for these fats is to use them only when cooking a speciality non-vegetarian dish, and to store them well in a well-refrigerated place. Certain other saturated fats also exist that are extremely helpful in keeping the heart healthy, despite certain efforts by nutrition professionals on demonizing these oils. Examples include oils such as coconut oil, once considered to be a breeding ground for free radicals and undesirable compounds, several research into its real nature has suggested otherwise. Coconut oil, not just accompanying its coconut aroma and flavour, has been found to aid the cardiovascular system, boost metabolism and benefit the skin. Several sources exist in support of this notion. Normally two categories of coconut oils exist, raw virgin oil and refined coconut oil. While the former is pure in nature, its refined version lacks in its typical smell and flavour. Coconut oil has been an ancient ingredient in several Southeast Asian cultures like Thailand and its neighbours, and is an integral source of cooking in almost all of southern India. Raw virgin coconut oil can be used in light baking, sweet baked goods, as well as certain savoury or regional dishes. While its refined version certainly contains fewer health benefits than its virgin counterpart, refined coconut oil is nevertheless an excellent alternative for cooking purposes. Similar to the characteristics often observed in healthy saturated fats, a wide variety of non-unsaturated fats also aid the heart and the whole body in general. Examples from the monounsaturated family include oils like virgin and refined olive oils, avocados, almond and walnut oils, palm oil, fish oils and flax seed oils. These are also one of the most commonly sought after monounsaturated oils with fish oils, olive oil, avocados and flax oils being one of the primary ingredients in Mediterranean diets. This might also explain why there is a much lower incidence of heart diseases observed in the Mediterranean as compared northern Europe that characteristically consumes more hydrogenated and saturated fats from pork, beef, lard and tallow, thus contributing to a worse off cardiovascular situation. In the United States, usage of hydrogenated fats and trans fats has resulted in worst health biomarkers among Western nations with every third individual being obese. Foods that rampantly use trans fats include fried products, certain baked goods and margarine. Nutrition experts warn against these hydrogenated oils as having effects relating to increased cholesterol levels, lowering of good cholesterol and increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes, heart diseases and strokes. The American Heart Association thus recommends on maximum consumption of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats such as olive oil, peanut and sesame oils, fatty fish that include mackerel, sardines, tuna and herrings, certain nuts such as flax seed and its oil, sunflower seeds and walnuts. Most of all, consume only healthy saturated fats that are few but have immense health benefits while keeping trans fats derived from fried as well as fast foods to the minimum level possible. Healthy saturated fats include oils like ghee, butter, certain cheeses, coconut oil and palm oil while keeping compounds such as margarine as distant as possible. Chapter 3 The Magic of Olive Oil Olive oil has been considered to be one of the only few best alternatives when it comes to everyday use. Although not used for frying and heating purposes, olive oil is the staple ingredient of Mediterranean dishes and has been so for than a millennium. The thought of historical records, sketches, paintings and frescoes exist since Roman times, showcasing the power and position olives occupied in this surrounded region of Europe. Historically, olives have been in use since ancient times. The Greeks loved it and after them, the Romans used them in almost all of their dishes. Pretty much most of modern-day Italian cuisine that is witnessed today has its origins in the Roman Empire. Olives were one of the most common ingredients used as raw fruits, 
salad dressings, raw eatables and not to forget as all sauces. Olives are still used as an integral part of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Greek as well as local cuisine characteristic of southern France. No wonder that olives have contributed their part in the already healthy cuisine of the colourful region. Olive oil has several benefits that clearly outweigh its negatives by a mile. Perhaps olive oil's only criticism has been its inability to be used as a cooking alternative. Instead, the oil is used as a raw ingredient in soups, pizzas, risottos, salads, as well as stews from Spain and Portugal that again outweigh its purpose as one of the healthiest stores for daily consumption. Modern technology has also made it possible for olives to be used in frying and cooking. Its refined version is used widely as a nice alternative on the cooking pan. Olive oil is also used in cosmetics, soaps and pharmaceuticals and as a compound in traditional oil lamps and religious processions. Such is the significance of olives that ancient Athenians used to give offerings to goddess Athena of olive oil, indicating the powerful importance olive has had on southern Europe cultures. Olive presses as old as 1500 to 2000 BC have been found in Egypt, Israel, Greece and the Italian peninsula. Olive oil's health magic comes from its constituents. It is a polyunsaturated oil that has high amounts of oleic acid, linoleic acid, palmitic acid and minor quantities of stearic acid, as well as alpha-linoleic acid. The presence of 55% to 83% of oleic acid is what makes olive oil known for what it is, while a moderate composition of 7.5% to 20% of palmitic acid and a 3.5% to 21% of linoleic acid, also found in ghee, act as reinforcements to its healing powers and desirable qualities. From nutrition point of view, a tablespoon of olive oil contains a healthy mix of vitamins and nutrients such as vitamin E and K, while providing 119 ksal of energy and 2 grams of saturated fat. Its uses are as wide as its consumption around the world. Its composition of vitamin Z and K ensure that one's skin remains healthy and vibrant and hence its use in cosmetic and pharmaceutical products. Olive oil as a skin toner has been in use since Egyptians used it 2,000 years ago as a moisturizer and antibacterial agent as well. In Greece, the oil was used during massages as an ointment for sports injuries and as a muscle reliever during fatigue and eliminate lactic acid buildup. It is still a popular ointment for massages, for infant care and of course as an additive to several recipes around the world. It can well be used with any salad as a normal sprinkler. Chapter 4 Avocado Oil Avocado oil is another gift from the gods and is well compared with properties similar to olive oil. With its high smoking points, this oil is well used with its parent nut as a wonderful drug against several heart disorder, cancer and a generally worse off state of health owing to avocado's vast nutritious and beneficial points. Avocado oil is acquired by hard pressing the avocado nut and filtering the produce to get virgin variants. An extra filtering to further reduce its fat content is an excellent choice for cooking purposes and that is what avocado oils is specifically used for. Avocado are wonder nuts and contain a laundry list of desirable compounds including several vitamins, nutrients and monounsaturated fatty acids. Its fat content is the sole reason behind reducing bad cholesterol levels while maintaining good cholesterol and a supply of vital nutrients and vitamins. A diet deficient in required vitamins and compounds can well be covered up by avocados' nutritious content. Avocados have had a long history behind them and just like olives have found plentiful of purposes dating back hundreds of years. They are a native fruit of the Mexican state and cultivation in one of Mexico's caves puts this fruit as one of the oldest, with its earliest use dated back to 10,000 BC. From its Mexican origins, the fruit is believed to have rapidly spread to its neighboring nations as far as California, when at one point of time was cultivable because of a more suitable climate than it is today. 
Till 5000 BC, avocados had spread till Central and South America. Usage of avocados did not stop there, as it continued its spread into Europe and the Mediterranean. Medieval ships transporting goods and commodities from Europe to the Americas and back finally introduced the wonder fruit for the first time to the shores of Europe. Avocados are now a commonly cultivated commodity in Spain, Portugal, Italy, South Africa and Australia owing to the suitable climates these regions possess. Qualities of avocado oil are many and long. Its finest quality lie in its high content of monounsaturated fats, thus making it one of the healthiest tools available for multipurpose use and also its high smoking point, putting the oil well under safe use because of the high smoking point it possesses, up to 271 Celsius, making it an excellent choice for frying and cooking purposes. With zero trans fats and saturated content, avocados could be considered the best alternative to cooking oil next to olives. Varieties of avocado oils offer a wide range of colors and aromas. Extra virgin avocado oil is characterized by a deep emerald green color that has a heating point of 250 Celsius. Avocados, both variants of refined and unrefined oils, are used for several cooking techniques that range from baking, stir-frying, searing, roast, as well barbecuing. One of its has cold-pressed variants is a brilliant emerald coloured when extracted and has high amount of chlorophylls and carotenoids, making it an excellent oil for massaging and raw use. The Coconut Oil Coconut oil is one of the most commonly used oils in coastal regions of Southeast Asia. It's a regular purpose oil in Thai cuisine as well as its neighboring regions of Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines and most of southern India and Sri Lanka. Coconut oil is an excellent choice for cooking and deep frying purposes and unlike previous attempts by several professional nutrition experts and doctors on demonizing coconut oil, recent research has shed light on this oil's positive benefits that way outweigh its disadvantages. Although the American Heart Association still looks upon coconut oil through the lens of apprehension, it will be just a matter of time when opinions change for good. Coconut oil has been the traditional oil for almost all recipes of southern India and contemporary Southeast Asian regions. It was once traded throughout the region and was an important source of revenue during colonial times. Coconut was originally cultivated in southern India and parts of Thailand and Indonesia where it started spreading inland through trade and influence. Now almost every edible recipe that is prepared and is of Sri Lankan, Thai, Indonesian or Southern Indian origin takes coconut oil as its primary cooking oil. Although certain objections against consumption of coconut oil have been raised by the FDAA and contemporary food governing organizations, with some of them being proven to be true, a lot of other such points have remained overlooked and ignored. Saturated Fat Saturated fat content in coconut oil, both refined as well as unrefined, is characterized as very high with 91% of the oil being saturated. However, coconut oil contains some of the most vital of nutrients and compounds that are found in new sources. It also contains 5% monounsaturated fats considered fair by a lot many. A composition of vitamin Z, K and iron content makes coconut oil suitable for frying and heating as it's characterized by one of the highest heating points of all consumable oils, 350 Celsius. Certain health specialists even put this oil at the first place, citing several health benefits that come with it. With over 90% saturated fat content, coconut oil is certainly a heat-resistant oil. It also contains lauric acid, an agent that helps improve good cholesterol levels and kill certain pathogens and undesirable bacteria in the gut. Fats in coconut oil have been observed to boost metabolism and increase feelings of fullness, thus preventing tendencies of overfeeding. Notwithstanding the immense health benefits coconut oil brings to us, its high saturated fat content is the red flag everyone should be wary about. 
since only animal-produced saturated fats have been seen as being healthy, oil such as those produced from coconut should not be kept as a regularly consumed oil. For regular use, oils such as avocados, olives and ghee need to be considered as primary, while keeping coconut oil for special items that include items such as pastries, baking recipes, certain desserts, and as an oil for moisturizing and seldom ointment. Chapter 5 Fish Oils and Fats Recent research has shed much light on the health benefits fish oils and fats provide to human consumption. As has been well known for now, marine foods contain some of the healthiest vital oils that contain compounds like omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids that not only prove beneficial but also act as powerful remedy agents against several undesirable ailments and conditions such as high cholesterol and deteriorating heart health. Omega-3 fatty acids have been observed as possessing healing qualities for skin while removing plaque from arteries and capillaries and as a cleansing agent for the whole circulatory system. No wonder why marine food-consuming cultures have report higher age spans as well as some of the lowest incidences of cardiovascular diseases. Fish and omega-3 oils are recommendation from almost all of health advisory bodies and governing institutes. The American Heart Association recommends an average consumption of 3.5 ounces of fish twice a week for adequate intake of marine nutrients, proteins and fish oils. A supplementation of cod liver oil pills, commonly found in every drug store, is also a nice alternative for those suffering from coronary artery disease and high triglycerides. For those that have a lack of fish supplies in the vicinity, cod liver oil through supplementation is the best approach. Some of the healthiest fish for consumption include the fatty ones like salmon, mackerel and tuna. Other items of marine food that include crustaceans like prawns and crabs are also some of the healthiest sources of protein and fresh fish oils. Marine food is also lacking in cholesterol and elements that sometimes makes items such as red meats unhealthy and undesirable for regular consumption. With its slight composition, marine protein, accompanied by omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, makes freshwater food ranked as one of the best. This could be one major reason why Mediterranean diet is still one of the heartiest and healthy. However, caution needs to be observed while consuming the right marine items. Several fish and marine life gets accustomed to artificial chemicals and pollutants that are introduced by industries and modern-day emissions. Although still not much of a horrifying level, several marine life and fish have got introduced with mercury levels, PCBs, dioxins and other such contaminants that are harmful for both fish and human life. Care and alertness needs to be maintained for fish that are older, larger and are of mammalia family. The existence of mercury in such organisms is the reason why medical practitioners recommend smaller freshwater items. Risks associated to fish consumption also vary according to age and gender of the individual. Children are most recommended to avoid marine items with reported mercury levels such as swordfish, mackerel and tilefish. For middle-aged and older people of both genders, consumption needs to be full and as recommended by governing bodies since benefits of marine food far outweigh its disadvantages for older people. Omega-3 fats have even been observed to cure rheumatoid disorders and a powerful treatment against arthritis. People of all ages and genders absolutely need to avoid canned fish foods since they hardly contain any original nutrition of the item while receiving a laundry list of contaminants in the development process.